What's so great about where you live? Well, that's exactly what we want to show off to everybody when we show up in your hometown. And welcome back to 12 News at 4. I'm Melanie Christopher. I'm Byron Brown. We're continuing our Your Hometown feature. So we're going to send it over to Walt Grayson, who is live in Vicksburg. Hi, Walt. Hey, Mel. Hey, Byron. How, how are you? Uh, let me tell you what. You were, we are in downtown Vicksburg. We're on uh, Washington Avenue, and this is the Vicksburg edition of Your Hometown. We're brought to you by Hallmark Hyundai. A couple of things before I tell you about what we're about to look at right here. Vicksburg is in the process of reinventing itself since the last time I was over here, which has been maybe a couple of years ago. Uh, but just like where Ken is downtown at the 10 South, this is a bank that is now apartments with a restaurant on top. I look at a lot of these buildings that used to be department stores and places like that. Uh, they now have residences up above them. Uh, the downtown living is a real big thing in downtown Vicksburg. And, and, and if you listen closely, let me see if you can hear it. <laughs> Naturally, they're just wrapping up a song. <laughs> what I wanted you to hear, we got a blues band playing right down the street down here, and the city of Vicksburg has blocked off the street, which is a very nice thing because what we the only thing we're lacking is a bunch of people to have a street dance. So if you want to have a street dance, come on down to downtown Vicksburg. Now, let me tell you about this place back behind us here. This is called the Chopping Block. Now, if you're not familiar with the Chopping Block, first time I heard it, I was thinking, well, this is, uh, this is like a kitchen appliance uh, place or something like that, the Chopping Block. But no, the chopping block is just as the name sounds, where you throw axes <laughs> and try to land a bullseye. So, you know, whether you're, you're new at this sport or whether you've tried it before or whether you think you'd just like to try it, one of the owners says everybody can use this place and just let off a little steam or just have a little bit of fun. It's not that difficult. Once you find your spot and where you need to be and where you need to release the axe, you've got it. You know, it may take you a minute to find that, but our coaches are amazing and they do a good job teaching you how to do that. We also have pool tables, we have cornhole, um, and it's just a great atmosphere. You can come in, watch the TVs, watch the games during football season. Vicksburg's a great town. We all love Vicksburg. <laughs> um, I feel like a lot, you know, our main street is a little bit of a hidden gem, but once you find it, you love it and you come back. We get visitors from locally, like from Brandon and Jackson. Yeah, the chopping block also has a, is a venue for corporate events, birthday parties, team building activities, things like that. And if you listen real close, I think the, I, I hear the blues band. I hear it now. Oh, I hear it. Oh, I feel it. It's, we're in downtown Vicksburg, and I have been corrected. I'm some of my old Greenville coming out in me, and Greenville is Washington Avenue. But in Vicksburg, we're on Washington Street. But Ken South is up above all of this right now at Ken South. Let's throw it up to Ken and see what's going on up there. Thanks, Walt. Well, Vicksburg is not only a great spot for delicious food like they serve here at 10 South. This is fried green tomatoes with spicy crawfish and tomato sauce. I cannot wait to try this later. But as Walt has been showing us, Vicksburg is also a great place for family fun. And the city is also leading the way in terms of new technology with their new M-City building. The city of Vicksburg is growing and is continuing to push boundaries with the near completion of the Than Cochran Mississippi Center for Innovation and Technology, also called M-City. Movies, film, um, video games, we're going to use it in uh, VR and XR as well. M-City's mission is to support the expansion of high technology employment opportunities by leveraging Vicksburg, Warren counties and Mississippi's technology and engineering clusters. This is the only place for some of its state-of-the-art tech. We hope to be a hub for innovation. It's, it's huge. It's huge because there's, there's a lot of opportunity here. It's, it's, you know, Vicksburg is revitalizing and this, is a, this can be a central point for it. This can pole vault them forward. And um, it's, it's big because there is a need here. Uh, and, and to have it and have it in this location is big. Mayor George Flaggs Jr. says the project will help attract more people and retail outlets to Vicksburg. Hopefully that it, it impacts in a very positive way. We believe we can create jobs uh, by having this center. This, this is probably uh, the most 
uh, modern facility that we got in this uh, city. The goal here is to uh, transform this whole city, this downtown area, uh, and be able to collaborate in a way that's never before around technology. M-City is rapidly becoming a leading component to the state's technology and innovation initiatives. Pablo Diaz is president and CEO of the Vicksburg Chamber of Commerce and says they're incorporating several different colleges into the fold. We, we do have a presence of Heinz Community College uh, uh, downstairs and also through the uh, Mississippi Research Council we have a presence of Mississippi State University, the University of Southern Mississippi, um, Ole Miss and also Jackson State University and also Alcorn. State University that is coming soon. The Engineer Research and Development Center and the Corps of Engineers are headquartered here in Vicksburg. Building off of them, M City is creating brand new jobs. We see this as a transformational project for the city of Vicksburg. That is what this uh, building is all about. And we expect small and medium sized companies uh, in high tech and in STEM to grow out of this project, to move to Vicksburg and to hire people in high-paying positions as we continue this, this project. Dr. Jeffrey Holland, the director of M-City, says it's an opportunity like no other. What we're doing here is we're manufacturing a new kind of worker who has a new kind of opportunity, who has the new chance to work in a new technology sector for the state. The opportunities are extraordinary and the state is taking the, the, the chance on it, and that chance is going to pay off. Work on the facility is expected to be completed by August of this year. And stay with 12 News. Later this year, we'll keep you updated on the progress of M-City. Well, coming up on your hometown, did you know the first Coca-Cola Coca was bottled here in Vicksburg? Walt Grayson takes us to the Biedenhorn Coca-Cola Museum to find out more on how one of the world's most famous brands has ties to the River City. Byron, over to you.